Hi everyone, in this short video I will explain you how to use the hysteresis uh, function block in Condesis. First of all, it's, uh, this hysteresis is usually used to improve the, uh, the performance of the on-off control. Uh, let's assume for a temperature control system in which we may have a heater and a, and a cooler uh, which could be turned on or off and for for uh, in order to turn them on or off we will have some threshold values at some set points so when the temperature is below the set point for example below a given set point the heater could be turned on and whenever it goes above the set point the heater could be turned off however this uh, simple on and off may make some problems for us because for any small fluctuation in terms of the current temperature we may have the the heater for example being turned on and off frequently and this may uh, reduce the lifetime of the of the heater we don't need to have usually that kind of sensitivity in terms of the temperature but a little bit uh, let's say if we, if we have the temperature a bit above the set point or a bit below the set point it's it's all also fine we are fine with that so to improve the behavior of the on-off control system the hysteresis could be used you can see here in these diagrams how it uh, how it works in it we can use it into the hysteresis in two ways for the forward operation which could be used for the uh, heater for example we have the temperature as the x-axis and on the y-axis we have the on-off state for the heater you can see that as the uh, this is for cooler yeah we, we can see that as the temperature increases let's say here we have uh, whatever 80 90 100 and 100.8 when we reach this temperature the heater will be turned on and it will remain turned on even if the temperature starts to decrease and it decreases up uh, down to 100 and, and at that point the cooler will, will be turned off because we are already fine with the temperature so this is kind of that zone that you can see here yeah this this is how the hysteresis is defined and how it works this is what we have for the forward operation so this is uh, good for using it with the cooler and this could be used with the uh, heater for example so assuming that the temperature cools down to 99.2 at that point we would need to turn on the heater to increase the temperature and as temperatures goes above 100 degrees the, the heater will be turned off and as a result the, the temperature may go down again again here we have this dead zone now I will show you how to do it in the codices. First of all, the hysteresis function block is here in the utility library in the analog monitors, and you can find it here. As you can see it in the graphical mode, it has three inputs, in, high, low, and it has one output. The output is of type Boolean, and the inputs are of type integer. So the first input in receives the uh, the variable in it, like let's say the tem temperature of the room, and high and low determine the uh, the the dead zone for the hysteresis. You will see how I have set them in in the example. And I hope you already know how to add this utility library to your project. You just need to go to the library manager that is here, and then add library. Click on add library. You will see the new window here and from here you can find the utility and in the application common and utility. I already have done it so I don't do it again but if you, uh, when you create a new project you don't have it by default. So in this way you can add it then here in the program you can insert a box when you insert the box you can determine that uh, the function block that you are going to use for it is this guy here is the resistance. And then when you insert it, you need to declare it. 
you can change the names. I, I have changed them into hysteresis underline heater, hysteresis underline cooler. And when you press enter, you need to declare it as the type of hysteresis. I have already done this to save time, so I don't do it again. You can do it yourself to, uh, to have the exact project that I have here. So here I have two hysteresis, one for cooler, one for the heater. For the cooler, uh, indeed for both of them, as the input variable, I have the room temperature, which is an integer variable that I have already declared it. For the heater, I have heater high and heater low as the high and uh, low inputs of the hysteresis, and I have declared them here. So heater high is 12, and heater low is 9. So this means that the heater will be turned on when temperature uh, yeah, goes above 9, and it will be turned off when whenever temperature goes below uh, it will turn it will be turned on whenever temperature is below 9 and it will be turned off whenever temperature is below 12 I guess yeah we, we can see it in in practice and for the cooler I have cooler high and cooler low and those are here cooler high and cooler low integer variables which are set into 30 and 27. So if the temperature goes above 27, the cooler will be turned on and it will be kept on. N next time when the temperature goes below uh, 30, it will be turned off or, or uh, the other way in it. Whenever the temperature goes above 30, the cooler will be turned on and then when the temperature goes below 27, the cooler will be turned off. That's what we will see later. And then the output of the hysteresis block is considered as the heater. And for the cooler, we have the output negated. And you can simply make the output of the function block negated by right-clicking on the output, right-clicking, and then pressing on negate. If I do it two times, I will go back into the normal situation. In the visualization, uh, I have two pilot lamps to represent the heater and cooler. As you can see here, the red one is for heater, blue one is for cooler. And I have uh, this slider here to determine the current room temperature. And you, you will see it in the text box here at the same time. So let's log in to the project and change the temperature and then we will see how the hysteresis block operates. Okay, so our current temperature is 16. None of the heater or neither one of them is turned on, heater and cooler. Now I start to decrease to decrease the temperature. So for, for the heater, we can see that the high is 12 and the low is 9. Yeah? So if I decrease it and go below 9, whenever I cross 9, the heater becomes turned on. And that's what you see here. So as, as far as the temperature is below 9, the heater will be turned on. Now if I increase the temperature, if I have the temperature above 9, as far as it is below the high value, below 12, the heater will be kept turned on. And when I pass 12, that's what happens now, the heater will be turned off. So there's no need to, to increase the temperature using the heater. And similar story happens when I increase the temperature. We have high value equal to 30 and low value equal to 27 for the hysteresis of the cooler. So you can see that as far as temperature is below 30, the cooler is not turned on. And as soon as the temperature is about 30, the cooler will be turned on. It will be kept on. And even if I go below 30, as far as I'm about 27, the cooler is turned on. And eventually, 
for lower temperatures, the cooler will be turned on. So this is how the hysteresis uh, works. So instead of turning on the heater and cooler each time when there are small fluctuations, we, we do this, we introduce this the zone of three degrees for the cooler and three degrees of difference for the heater. So they, they don't turn on and off that frequently. And this indeed helps the tips to, to use the heater and cooler in terms of the temperature controllers for longer time. Uh, all right, so I think that's all for this uh, short video. I hope you have enjoyed it and you have learned how to use the, the hysteresis uh, function block in the CFC programming environment. You can also use it in, in the other programming environments such as uh, FPD or structured text and so on and so forth. So once again, thank you for watching and see you next time in the next video.